Hi there, I'm Jessica McAfee. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited to join the Heffy Friends Hop celebrating the brand new release. We've got some amazing designers in the lineup and a giveaway too. Here's a look at the products we'll be using today. Breaking Waves Border Dies, Grass Dies for My Stash, Close the Gate Die, You Go Gull Stamp Set, Sealy Friends, Who Let the Dogs Out, and the star of the show, the Big Shadow Box Die Set. As always, I'll have all the products used in the description box below. First up, I'm going to stamp these Heffy Doodle Cuties using my Misty and Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, which is safe for alcohol marker coloring. We're going to be using Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers for quick coloring. I'm not going to show you the whole coloring process, but I will show you a few examples. For small images, I like to go in with the darkest color. I find where I think the shadows will be and start there. It's not really important to be precise, just pick an area and decide that's where it would most likely be shaded in nature. I look for clues like around edges and underneath the neck area for example. I then blend with the medium tone and finally the lightest tone. Now we'll create the card base using the big shadow box die. And to start, I die cut two of the largest dies with blue cardstock to create the outer box shape. Next, I'll die cut the rectangle to one of the blue die cuts to frame the scene. Each die piece will have a score line, and I like to use a bone folder for a smooth edge. To adhere them together, I use score tape. Now, the moment of truth. I think I actually held my breath, and thankfully it worked out perfectly. There's no turning back with score tape. I wanted to create a scene with an open fence in the background. For a little extra detail, I added gold accents Once I was happy with everything, I closed the box shape with score tape. Now, I probably should have created the background beforehand, but I changed my mind as I was creating, of course, as one does. I decided to add simple clouds using Tumble Glass Distress Oxide ink and a cloud stencil that I had on hand. I was able to easily pop it into place, thank goodness. To finish off the card, I added the last pup and stamped the sentiment on oyster shell cardstock and of course, a little speech bubble. And there's the card. I also wanted to show you two more ideas you could use while creating with the big shadow box die featuring Sealy Friends and You Go Gull. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate all the sweet comments and support. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more like this, I would love if you subscribed. Until the next card. Bye.